Did you guys know that there's reusable period underwear now? Just like your regular underwear, except it's not. When you have your period, you can bleed directly into this. You don't have to put a pad in. This underwear will absorb up to two pads worth of period blood. It sounds really, really cool. But does it really work? Does it really absorb that much of blood? Is it gonna feel like you're wearing a diaper or something? When you bleed into it, will you still feel wet? I have all of these questions and I'm pretty sure you must have them as well in today's video i am gonna tell you all about this product then i'm actually gonna use them during my period and then i'll come back and let you know whether i think they're worth your money Hi guys, it's Magali. I make all kinds of videos, vlogs, fashion videos, beauty, food, many different topics. But something that I really enjoy is testing products, giving you guys extremely detailed reviews to let you know whether a certain product does everything that it claims. And I've actually made several videos around periods on this channel. Previously, I've talked about menstrual cups. I also did a video where I just tested out different things that would help relieve pain in the cramps that many of us do get. I'm currently 31 years old and I've been menstruating for around 20 to 21 years of my life. So I have a lot of experience dealing with periods and I believe all of us have a right to like a comfortable and pain-free period as much as possible. Around 16, 17 years of menstruation, I used to use only pads, but then after a while, I actually switched to a menstrual cup. The brand I use is called Asan and this is what it looks like. There are very many reasons to switch from disposable menstrual pads to a cup like this better for the environment will also save money in the long run depending on what pads you're buying you're actually spending a lot of money that many times we don't realize how much money we are spending a cup like this is a one-time investment that will last you two to three years but the main reason that i switched actually is that after so many years of use pads started giving me a rash initially it just started with one pad and it started mild but the rashes ended up getting worse and it got to the point where like immediately after putting on a pad i would get a rash and I switched all of the brands, I tried all of them, none of them were working for me and that's why I was kind of forced to switch. After the initial learning curve of a menstrual cup, it made me very very happy and I do recommend it to everyone. But I know that there are many people who for whatever reason they might just not be comfortable with a menstrual cup. Many have tried it and don't like it. So I was really really excited to see these reusable period underwear come to India. I've seen them from like smaller brands for a while and I did want to try them but I just stopped myself and then I saw this one. This is the Kotex and Thinks reusable underwear and this got me really excited because Kotex is a really well-known brand. Thinks are one of the most famous brands of reusable period underwear that's pretty big in America. They consistently get like really good reviews for their products but there have been recently some safety concerns regarding Thinks also. I cannot not mention that but I still feel that since it's such a big brand it's probably going to be one of the better quality ones. These have launched very recently in India. They are available online. That's where I purchased them and they're available in two sizes. I realized that both of the sizes didn't have a very big difference and you know, I could kind of wear either one of them. So I bought both sizes just to try them out. A single one does cost 999 rupees. So that's 1000 bucks for one pair of underwear, which I don't usually spend that much. But I actually got 25% off by buying it online. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description bar. Later on, I saw there were even bigger discounts available as well. Make sure that you check the measurements before purchasing. It's underwear, so if you buy it, you cannot return or exchange it. Now let's take a closer look at the box and unbox the underwear as well. I bought two of these, one in each size. So let's unbox them. You'll notice right away that the packaging is like paper since they are targeting people who are going to care about sustainability. It's a nice touch to have plastic free packaging and you see all the information up front like it absorbs your period, it's washable and the sizes are also mentioned. When you turn this and look at the back, you will see the measurements for the two sizes that are available. My tip is to care about the hip measurements more than the waist measurement. These are in inches by the way. This is made 
stayed in Sri Lanka and I did some research so I saw that the exact same ones are also being sold in other Asian countries like Malaysia, also America and Australia and New Zealand. The entire underwear does have like different fabrics used in different areas. So the main underwear part is a mix of cotton and elastane. Cotton being a natural breathable fiber and then it does need elastane for stretchiness. But some of the other parts of the absorbent area and all do have polyester. Now let's open this up. Here's a closer look at the underwear. It has like a thick elastic waistband and when you look on the inside of it you can make out which area is going to be absorbent. It's pretty much in the shape of like a maxi pad only but instead of applying something else it's built into your underwear. That part does feel thicker and it has this different texture also of the fabric. Since I have both sizes, I decided it would be interesting to lay them flat and compare them. And I was really surprised that there's hardly any difference between the size, at least visually you can see. The one on the top, that's the medium one, and the one underneath is the large one. There is a little bit of a thickness in this whole crotch gusset area. This part of the underwear, the bottom is usually called a gusset. Even normal underwear, you'll usually see a double layer of fabric there. Just like in the shape of the pad, there are several extra layers of fabric. It feels kind of cushiony. Now for the actual absorption, it says that it has driving layer technology which gives odor control. There's a super absorbent layer that absorbs up to two regular pads. So driving just means that there's an inner layer of fabric that sucks the moisture that comes and that moisture goes into the fabric so that you do not feel wet all of the time. I checked my menstrual tracking app and my periods are actually due any day now. That's when I get a chance to actually test these and I'm also not going to be using my cup so I will be able to tell like exactly how efficiently this works. Just one day after I filmed the earlier part I did get my period so my timing was absolutely perfect. And now I'm gonna share with you guys the full experience of using it like right from the fit to how it feels to like everything let's start with the fit i was a little concerned about the smaller size which is medium being too small for me but it was not it fit really fine this is how it looks on me the large one also fits me fine and when I have them on or when I'm holding them in my hand, I cannot really tell the difference between them. If you are measuring yourself, I think it's important to check the hip measurement, not the waist one and buy accordingly. So when I first put it on, I was anxious and really skeptical. My period is an unpleasant time for me. I was just not feeling good. So I sat so awkwardly the first few hours and only when I found that, okay, this is working fine, I started to relax and like by the end of the day night time I was very relaxed. So it does feel at first a little awkward because it's quite thick. And most of the modern maxi pads that you get like the good quality ones they're very thin but there's no plasticky feeling or plasticky sound uh, with this underwear that you often get from regular pads. With regular pads you always have to check that is it in place or has it moved every time you even go to the toilet you usually have to check with this as long as you pull your underwear on properly and you really can't mess that up can you you don't have to worry that it's not aligned well so that is something that i liked right away it worked wonderfully for me throughout the day it does absorb a lot of blood i did push this till 14 16 hours when i was on my first two three days when the flow is heavy and it never leaked that is really impressive and I was not using anything else. I changed to the next one at night, put this first one for washing and I tried it on overnight. That was also an important test I think. At night time we need to be comfortable. I was worried that it might leak from the back. I do sleep on my back, on my sides and I know that I like roll about a lot. It's summertime, it's like we feel hot and restless. So I definitely was not sleeping in one position. I was delighted when I woke up in the morning and I found that there was no leaking, there was no staining, anything. The back of this is pretty wide. It catches all your blood even at night time. I used to buy overnight pads that were much bigger to be able to sleep comfortably. So the fact that this made me sleep comfortably, I loved it. Obviously, even two panties are not going to be enough for your period. Even if you wash them immediately it's not going to be enough so if you only want to wear these kind of underwear on your period you would need three to four of them at least and remember that i was at home 
so I could wash immediately but most people don't have that luxury they're out you would need a lot of these and they're not cheap compared to the cup when the cup fills up you can empty it put it back in you cannot do the same for this however it was very comfortable to wear throughout my period I had a very positive experience there was zero itchiness rashes anything like that no irritation of any kind for the skin there and I have eczema skin gets irritated very very easily these fully pass the test in that regard washing them does take a little bit more time or effort than washing other things all these layers of fabric over here do absorb all of your blood when you're washing you need to keep on rinsing to make sure that like the blood's Remove. You have to keep rinsing with cool water. I rinse under running water and squeeze it a little and then I'll also soak it a couple of times and I just keep on rinsing until the water runs clear like there's no blood residue of any kind. So it's not a really big deal but as I said does take more effort than washing your regular stuff you could like keep on rinsing it and then put it in your washing machine but I think it's just handier to hand wash them I use a washing machine also but I often hand wash so with these I hand wash them they are expensive also and hand washing will ensure that they stay in shape and uh, they don't get ruined fast because your washing machine is definitely damaging and aging your clothes even though it makes life easier coming to the conclusion part of this video my experience with this is kind of mixed on the surface, I think these are wonderful. These gave me a very comfortable period. After I finished using these during my period, I went and purchased another one. I liked it, so I wanted to have a third one as well. So this will give most people a very comfortable period. It's easier to use than a menstrual cup. It doesn't cause any irritation or rashes. I would say it's a largely sustainable alternative also uh, because it's reusable. That's what makes it sustainable. The outside fabric is more mostly cotton, some of the internal layers are polyester. You're using it many many times so compared to sanitary napkins which each one you have to throw out and they go in a landfill you are keeping a lot of extra trash out of landfills by switching to something like this but it is not as sustainable or cost effective as a cup if we compare those two options i know many people would not want to compare these two options because though they are both for your periods they are different this one's an internal method of collection and this one's an external method the downside with this are very limited sizing where do they get off just creating two sizes I have a size that fits me and many people will have a size that fits them but many people will not find their sizes represented here I find it appalling that brands are still doing two sizes of underwear in 2023 if they cannot make more diverse range of sizes they should really not bother the price is expensive 999 rupees for a single one I know most of us would not find that cheap and there are several people that would not be able to afford this also seeing this new technology gets me excited they aren't the only ones making this kind of underwear I did see Marks and Spencer's Uniqlo all having this type of underwear right now it is expensive but I feel that if this catches on we will get cheaper alternatives when menstrual cups first came out they were also expensive but as they started becoming more popular more brands joined in and now you can get many affordable options options as well at the end of the day are these for you i think that's a decision that only you can make and take into account your body your lifestyle your budget you should see what works for you for me i'm glad to be using these how i will use them is probably use my cup and i would sometimes double up with a pad on those first two three days of heavy flow just because my cup would sometimes leak a little and i needed that extra protection now along with this cup and this reusable period underwear i will be able to be completely free of sanitary pads and that's something that I'm happy with if you would like to get these I've left links below so check them out you can also save some money it can be a little confusing because all brands are doing disposable underwear for periods also now so this is not that this is reusable underwear if you have any questions at all that you think I can answer then feel free to leave me a comment down below if you have used these underwear or any other reusable underwear please leave a comment sharing your experience many of us have been social 
realized since young to be really discreet and to not talk about our periods or to talk in hushed voices it just helps everybody to destigmatize and to talk about these things openly and loudly thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys next time